Thank you, Lord, for this fine day. Thank you, Lord, for this fine day. Thank you, Lord, for this fine day. Right where we are. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Right where we are. I'm so glad to sing that song again with you. And it's nice to be with you today. I know that it's been a while since you've been in the atrium. But I hope you're finding enough good things to do with your time and that I'm happy that you're here with me now. You know where I'm at. I'm in the atrium. There's our altar, our, our prayer table. Maybe you have a prayer table at home too. Hmm, something to think about. Well, today we're over here at the Good Shepherd area. And I know that you know this material, right? You know it very well. But I'm going to show you something different today, okay? So let me get out Good Shepherd. So the Good Shepherd, he knows his sheep, doesn't he? And the sheep know him. Because when he calls to them, what do they do? That's right. They follow him. And how do they know that it's the good shepherd that's calling to him, to them? Yeah, because he knows their name, right? And he knows their name because he loves them. And takes care of them too, doesn't he? The Lord is my shepherd. I'll walk with him always. He knows me and he loves me. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. Always. Always, I'll walk with him always. Oh, one more in there. Yep, the shepherd calls them and he knows them by name. That's very important that they know his voice and that they follow him. Well, today I want to show you about another sheepfold. That's right. I think some of you have asked me about this sheepfold before. You've said, Miss Kathy, what's this one for? And I said, after Easter, we'll talk about that one. Well, it's after Easter, so it must be time to talk about this one. So this is our sheepfold where the sheep are protected from strangers. And this is our sheepfold too. Now this sheepfold is called the church. And specifically, it's the mass. And so if the good shepherd calls his sheep, what do they do? They follow. In the church, we have the altar. And if the Good Shepherd were to call his sheep to a new sheepfold, what do you think they would do? right they would follow him he would call them by name and they would follow him he 
calls them around the altar. The altar where the mass is. Now, why would they follow him there? Because he loves them, right? And he cares for them. The good shepherd is present on the altar. And he calls them to the mass. The good shepherd is present on the altar in another way too. In the bread. And in the cup. Jesus, the good shepherd. We know it's Jesus, don't we? That's right. He's the light. And he's present in the bread and in the wine when it's consecrated on the altar. Ah, <gasps> That's a big word, isn't it? Can you say it with me? Consecrated. Consecrated means real, really there. Jesus, the good shepherd, is the consecrated bread, the Holy Eucharist, communion. He's present in the bread and in the wine on the altar. So I could take the good shepherd off the altar and Jesus would still be there. Or I could leave him here. You call us to the mass, Lord. You call us to the mass. You call us to the mass, Lord. You call us to the Mass. You gave your life for us, Lord. You gave your life for us. You gave your life for us, Lord. You gave your life for us. Good Shepherd gave his life for his sheep. He gave his life because he loves his sheep so much. And he cares for his sheep so much that he laid down his life for his sheep. I wonder what the sheep think about the Good Shepherd laying down his life for them. I wonder who are the sheep? Who are these sheep that the Good Shepherd would pour out all his love for them, all his care for them. They are very special sheep. I think I would like to be one of those sheep. I would like to be loved like the Good Shepherd loves these sheep. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He knows me and he loves me, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. Always, 
always. I'll walk with him always. Boys and girls, you can use this material when you come back to the atrium anytime you'd like. And me or Miss Bethany or one of the other teachers will light the candles for you. I know that we would like to be together in mass, but right now it's a difficult time and we can't. But we will be back together again soon. Shalom, all my friends. Shalom, all my friends. Shalom, shalom. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Shalom, shalom.